Let's take a look at what we can expect as we head into our Friday. It does appear that a storm system will be pulling out of the Rockies, which has been providing snow there and rain out into the plains, into the Texas Panhandle. We actually saw a little bit of sunshine on Thursday, but now it's time to see more clouds as we get into Friday. The main track of this, though, will be to the north across the Texas Panhandle into southern Oklahoma. That's where the heaviest of the rain is going to reside with this, and we will get more of a line of showers and isolated thunderstorms as we head into Friday. That has decreased rain potential, at least amount-wise. I do think we will see rain pretty much area-wide. It just won't be as heavy with that farther north track. And then for the weekend into next week, things are pretty quiet. So let's check out what we are tracking for you here. We are seeing more clouds as we head into Friday morning. We may see a little peak of sun or two across our eastern areas, and then the clouds take over area wide by lunchtime. And that's when I do think the rain will start to increase for the I-35 corridor for the late morning into the early afternoon. Then it works its way to I-45 in the Brazos Valley as we head into mid to late afternoon on Friday. And we may even see a little bit of clearing west of I-35 as that storm system passes through. Then on Saturday, now it appears that we will see quite a bit of sunshine with that farther north track. So I have up temperatures just a bit and brought those clouds uh, down a little bit as well. As we take a look at how much rain we could see again with that north track, we're going about a quarter to a half inch with some isolated higher totals, especially across our northern areas near Hillsborough and Corsicana. But I do think the farther north you are, the heavier potential you will have and maybe along the I-45 corridor as well. So for tonight, temperatures will work their way down into the 40s and low 50s for us as we will have the clouds reemerge across the area. Then we're looking at highs into the 50s and 60s tomorrow. The rain reaches you last down here, so I do think you're going to be a little bit warmer across our southeastern counties, but we will have the 50s and 60s for the rest of us. And looking at your forecast, we are going to be seeing well temperatures into the 50s and low 60s for tomorrow. 80% chance of rain. Saturday at 60 degrees. Looks like we clear out with northwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Sunshine on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday look nice, and most of next week looks nice. But we'll have increasing clouds by the end of the week, and that could bring a few showers for the weekend before Christmas. And as we take a look at your Brazos Valley 10 day forecast, a little bit warmer there on Friday with temperatures in the 60s and a 70% chance of rain by the afternoon hours. 62 with clearing skies on Saturday, 68 Sunday. And again, for the week, the weekend before Christmas, we could be seeing those temperatures come down just a hair and our rain chances start to increase as well. But as of now, it doesn't look like much in the way of freezing temperatures across the area as the cold air is still stuck up to the north.